Hi there, folks. Corky Duke here. Bomber Crew is the game, and Memphis Bell is the name. This is my tribute to the United States Eighth Air Force and the Eighth Air or the Air Force in general, but especially the Eighth Air Force um, with my uh, Bomber Crew game, which is also a learning campaign. If you're new to this game, you're going to want to check this game out, mission by mission, step by step. I'm going to teach you how to play this game. So here we go with the second mission. So let's head to the briefing area. We uh, we won't be able to buy anything. We completed our uh, first mission, and we're not going to be able to really buy anything. Uh, nothing's available to us. Uh, we don't have enough intelligence points. We need uh, to upgrade the electrical system. We need 2,500 intelligence points. That's this up here. So after the next mission, if we get 240 intelligence points, we'll be able to get upgrade the electrical system to Mark II, which is definitely recommended. So, okay, and see, this is. This is what I'm talking about with the intelligence points. This has how it locks you. And you're only supposed to, you can only get so many things. Uh, and then it's based on this, the more missions you fly, the more missions you succeed at, because you get this intelligence points when you succeed at the mission, the more likely you're gonna be able to fly that stuff. So if you fly a mission and you fail the mission, you won't get the intelligence points attributed to that mission. So this mission has 250 intelligence points. If we fail it and we don't bomb this target, we don't get those 250 intelligence points. Now you'll get other intelligence points like safely returning to base, but it's only like 50 points. Uh, and then we also don't get that money either. So, And uh, the second mission, you definitely want to do Monserrato. And I'll tell you why. This enemy damage down means when the fighters are hitting your bomber, the damage is reduced. So you always want to... Uh, I'll go for them, and w once we complete it, we'll get enemy damage down for the next two missions. So let's go ahead, and we're going to hit Monserrato, which is pretty much every single mi campaign I've ever flown. My second mission has always been Monserrato, and I'll wind up hitting it four or five times throughout that campaign, which is actually historically accurate. So don't forget to lock your pilot in there uh, so he can't move around. Okay? See? See? I mean, trying to move him around, that thing. And then if you... Take it off lock, he can get out of his pilot compartment. And if you if he gets out of his pilot, uh, this way you can't accidentally move him around because when you get um, flying and you get into a fight, you're going to accidentally hit him and you're going to move him out of the pilot compartment. And all of a sudden, the game will give you a warning, but I guarantee you, uh, you're going to be uh, uh, trying to do a whole bunch of stuff, anything from... Uh, fighting, uh, manning different gun stations if you get crew that go down, to putting out fires inside your bomber, and all this stuff. Always remember to raise your landing gear. And uh, all that kind of stuff can be happening. So, I'm going to get a screenshot here. I'm just giving it from my uh, YouTube channel. So, but anyway. And now we just want to Watch that radar. Look for those green blips, which means fighters are coming. And then we got to tag them. Remember, hit the space bar to tag them. Tag the navigation point. Keep an eye on that radar. You don't want those fighters sneaking up on you. You want to tag them as the first coming in uh, to your bomber. That's the easiest time to tag them. If you somehow wait, you can already see them, the little green dots. I bet you they're going to appear right in this spot right here. Nope. But you want to tag them as they're coming in before they get to you. If they start circling your bomber, it becomes a lot more difficult to tag them. So keep your eye on that radar. And then as soon as you see those green dots, go to the location. This is 1030, that's 12 o'clock, 130. So the far right is 3 o'clock, the far left is 9 o'clock, and behind us is 6 o'clock. So you just you look at the positions just like you would a regular clock. There they are. So we see them. They're coming in 1:30 high. And so we got to move the bombardier to the other. This is definitely something you want to do. Now we got an extra gun going on these fighters, and we can use the focus ability of the starboard waste gun. And boom, those three fighters go down just like that. Alrighty. Now he will get that focus ability back after time. Each gunner will get 
a focus ability, even a backup gunner will get a focus ability, although the backup gunners won't get a focus ability as quick as the uh, regular gunners do. And then they'll get a reduced focus uh, time, which reduces the time that they're not. Uh, gotta get him over to the other side again. To the, the game attacks in piecemeal fashion. Notice how the fighters attack from the right first. Like I said, always tag them first. Make sure they're all tagged. Where's that one? There it is. Oh, we're way off target here. Alright, no big deal. Okay. And I got now these are gonna be flying right off. That's a one question at 109 right there. We're gonna do half the bombs. I'm right, gonna show you something what we're gonna do here. And bombs away. And then we're gonna save this bombs for this secondary. Are there any other untanked fighters out there? I don't think so. I think they're all tanked. Alrighty. And we're gonna. This is called a recon photo, but it's also a target of opportunity. Uh, what it does, I'll show you what it does. We're going to take the photo first, then destroy it. So we get enough of the photo. Boom, blows up. Okay, so does that fighter. Alrighty. Any more untagged fighters? Yeah, there they are. These are all 109s coming in too. A measurement 110. Get the bombardier to a gun station. Boom, all right, good, good shooting. Now we got the smoke rising from our secondary target or our target of opportunity. But we're still fighting those fighters, they're attacking at 12 o'clock. See, the real Bennett V 17, the radio operator, would have a single uh, 50 caliber hanging out the radio room just for fighters that attack at 12 o'clock, just for that. But this is the B-17 Model E, and that was available to the B-17 Model F, the uh, 12 o'clock radio operator gun. So, now notice, see that blue? That's the gunner uh, loading ammo and, and loading a new ammo belt into his gun. So, if you're wondering why he's not firing for a second there, that's why he's got to reload the ammo into his gun. He automatically does that. You don't have to do anything. Also, notice these arrows here. See this bombardier? This arrow right here tells you he's at his starboard cheat gun. If the arrow was facing the other side, you'd be at his port cheat gun. So you don't have to go in there to find out which gun he's at. You can just look at this. Uh, uh, look at this. Uh, man, where are they at? You just look at this uh, uh, crew update. Uh, I don't know what they call it. And we got the hydraulic system going down. It needs to be fixed right away. And we're looking good, though. Uh, actually, his focus, and he's, he's not wanting to engage us. Okay, cool. Get the radio or the tail gunner. Yeah, okay, now he's coming back. Little sneaky bastard. Okay, come on. What are you what are you doing? Fire at him. Why is he Oh the hydraulic system is down. Damn it. That's why there he goes. There he goes. Woo. Okay, yeah, the height. Okay. See, this is why you want to tag these things as they first coming in. Got him tagged. We got to move the wheel mouse back to try and get a chance. To, there they are. Tag them, other two fighters. That makes it a lot easier to tag them when you move the wheel mouse back 
to the boy. The guy guys are getting wounded here. Now, since they're attacking from the right, we're going to send the left waist gunner to sick bay. But I don't think we need to. We're close. We're at home anyway. So, no casualties. Looking good. So, now basically, once you're done with a wave of fighters, I'll remember always to bring your landing gear down before you land. Done with the wave of fighters, you got wounded crew members, get them into sick bay. Or get a, uh, a uh, first aid, go get them first aid. And I'll show you how to do that once the crew members have the ability to do that. Because you're going to um, want to face each new wave of fighters with 100% health on all your crew members. See this bar? So this uh, Miller right here is uh, almost at three quarters percent uh, loss of health. So. So you don't really want to go them go into a combat with him that low on health if you can avoid it. There's going to be times when you ain't going to be able to avoid it, but if you can get them into sick bay, get them healed, do that. That's always a, a plus. That's always a benefit, and that prevents your crew members from going down and having to take crew members off their guns to go and heal him to, to administer first aid to get him back up and up running. And if this happens with a gun position like the ball turret. You know, and then one of those one tens get underneath you and start shooting, as we saw earlier, because the hydraulic system was down. You're looking at serious problems. So okay. Now speaking of the, the electronic system, we're going to want to do that first. So we're going to do electric system. You just click on it, install. Boom! It tells you how much it is. I don't think we have enough. Yeah, we don't have enough intelligence points. We need 2750 for the hydraulic. So the next mission we should be able to. Uh, uh, get the hydraulic system up to mark level two. So, and uh, okay, and that's about it. That's about all we're going to be able to buy. Um, I don't mess too much with this. I wait until we get the uh, uh, quad 303. <coughs> Excuse me, 50 calibers. I'm sorry, 50 calibers are coming first, then quad 303s. Maybe I should get how much. Well, it's going to give me, I don't have enough money anyway. I need 2900 now. We got 2260. So, but anyway, basically what this does, this gives you damage per second and ammo belt. So this basically raises the damage that it fires per second against the enemy fighters. And this also gives you 300 rounds per ammo belt. So that means that they can shoot longer before they have to refill, reload another belt of ammo into their guns. So... I usually don't mess with that. I usually keep it on that until we go up to 50 calibers. And I wind up saving my money for the 50 calibers. And then get 50 calibers all straight across. And then we start getting into the quad 303s. And then finally the, the quad uh, 50 calibers on the three main gun positions. You can only get the quad 303s and the quad uh, 50 calibers on the three main gun positions. Tail, ball, and top. So that's the only time. That's the only place you can get the quad 303s or quad 50s. The most you can do with the rest of the gun positions are 50 caliber. So anyway, so that'll be about it. That should do it for this. Uh, this mission this is mission number two. And uh, hope you learned something. Uh, you know, if you got a question, please put it in the comments. Um, I'll respond to it. I'll answer your question. If you got any questions at all? Uh, like I said, I'm here to teach you how to play this game. So uh, good luck. And uh, this is mission number two. I'm going to do this one mission at a time. I'm going to do every single mission that's available in the Mediterranean campaign and the American campaign. And even if I don't need to do those missions, I'm still going to do them just to teach you how to do each mission at a time. But anyway, uh, thanks for watching. QuirkyDuke.com is my website. Like, comment, share my videos. And if you got a question, please put it in the comments. I uh, will answer it. So anyway, take care, and we'll see you next time. Bye.